In today's video, I'm going to show you how to check the rankings of your Google business profile accurately across Google Maps using a flexible grid point tracker. You know how most trackers use a square grid, right? Well, that can be a bit limiting, but with this tracker, things get exciting. If your business is near the sea or large uninhabited areas where there are no customers, the regular grid tools will always include those areas, making things confusing but not with this flexible tracker. It lets you focus only on places where real customers are, giving you a much better picture of your performance. But here is the best part. When using this tracker, you can check how your business is performing in the most important areas where you want your business to be found on Google Maps. This is perfect if you want to know how well your Google listing ranks in specific locations. Using this tracker will help you understand how your business is doing and where you need to improve. Let me show you how it works. Head over to brightlocal.com. You can find the link in the description of this video. Click on the try for free button to create a free account and fill in all your personal details. In the next step, you'll need to connect your Bright Local account with a Google business profile you want to track the rankings for. You have two options to connect your account to your Google business profile, either directly connect it or search for your business by name, which should be detected automatically. In some cases, both options might fail, depending on how your Google business profile is set up. If that happens, enter your business details manually. Once you're done, Bright Local will automatically set up your account. You might be prompted to connect to other platforms like your social media accounts and Google Analytics, but for now, skip them all until you reach the main dashboard where the default reports will be running. From the left-hand side menu, click on the Ranking option, then select Local Search Grid. Bright Local may have already run a Search Grid report automatically based on your business profile category. If this is the case, click on the Action drop-down and the Edit Report option. If not, you should see a window like this one. Just click on Get Started. In either case, you will be taken to a screen where you can set the tracking parameters to check your listings rankings across Google Maps. The first field is just a recap of the account name you've set up, so you can ignore it. In the next field, start typing the business name that displays on your Google Business Profile and the system should detect it automatically. However, if your listing doesn't include a physical address, tick the box that says Google Maps URL. Then go to Google Maps and search for your business name and address. This should bring up your Google Listing panel. Copy the URL from your search browser and paste the entire URL in the Google Maps URL field, then click on Find. This should position a grid over the map where your business is located. Next, click on the Map Criteria drop-down and set the distance between grid points and the preferred metric system you want to use. The distance between grid points can vary depending on the competitiveness of your market. The more competitive the market, the less distance I put between grid points. I also always tend to go for the maximum grid size template, but it's really up to you to make that call. After that, add the keywords you want to track for your listings ranking performance. You can add up to 30 keywords. Note that this tool works on a credit basis, which you need to purchase. The more keywords you track and the bigger the area you select, the more credits it will cost. The free account comes with 2,000 free credits, which should allow you to track eight keywords across 225 points across the map at a cost of 1,800 credits, which I feel is quite generous. The general settings option is about how you want to name your report and whether you want to be notified by email when it's completed, but you can ignore that for now. Once your local search grid is set up and before clicking on the big create a report green button, there's one last step you can take to see the magic happen. Remove all unnecessary grid points that you feel won't bring any value. This will give you a clearer idea about your listing's performance and also save you credits since you're tracking fewer grid points. To remove unnecessary grid points, simply click on them and they won't be included in the report. Once you're satisfied, click on Create Report, wait for a few minutes and boom! You can now see how well your listing is ranking across your tailored area for the specified keywords. The results will be color-coded so you can quickly assess how well your listing is performing. Each grid point will display the ranking position of your listing on Google Maps as if someone were conducting a search from that exact spot. By clicking on a grid point, you can open a pop-up window that displays valuable information about your competitors, including their proximity to their grid point, the number of Google reviews they have, and their overall ratings. This feature is incredibly helpful for conducting competitor analysis. 
If you want to check the performance for each individual keyword, just click on the drop down menu, select a keyword, and the map will update automatically. You also have the option to download a PDF version of the full report for safekeeping. If you're targeting nearby cities or neighborhoods, this tool can be especially useful. Instead of setting a large grid that covers a wide area, you can create a report showing the performance of your listing in the specific locations you serve, giving you a more precise idea of where your marketing efforts need improvement. Let's take a look at an example of a plumber based in Lafayette, Indiana. The report reveals that CJ Plumbing is performing exceptionally well in the top half of Lafayette City itself and nearby cities for the keyword plumber near me. However, the rankings are not quite as good when the same search is made further down south. This information provides invaluable insights, pinpointing the exact areas where this business should focus and double down on its marketing efforts. While the tool is not free, you can make use of the 14-day free trial with the free credits provided. You don't even need to enter any credit card details. It's definitely worth trying as even if you don't continue using it, you'll get a snapshot of your current visibility and end up with a useful report that is likely to be a real eye opener. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to smash the like button and until next time, happy marketing.